If Olanyi had not died... The decision to have Andrew Jok as the party's sole candidate was sealed at a meeting that the president convened with the rest of the aspirants, NRM leaders and actually cultural leaders at his home in Rachitura on Tuesday evening. The president called it the decent thing to do. I, I think really it is decent, decent. The, the other one you call it worry. It is worry to say, ah, let, let, let the boy go. Whether he becomes useful or useless, we shall see. That's not the end of the world. If, you, if the boy is given the chance and doesn't perform, this is not the end of the world. It's just uh, some few years. This is a culmination of various consultative meetings by various stakeholders. We are still in the process of mourning. And a divisive primary election can become detrimental to the people of Omoro and the party that we belong to. I, I feel humbled. I feel deeply humbled because I'm new in this race. But I also know it's not about me. It's about what needs to be done and also because of my father. For Andrew Olanya, who has had seven years as a senior software developer at National Information Technology Authority, NITAU, it was a development he was thankful for as he hopes to accomplish his father's legacy. But his likely competitors don't think he's strong enough to win. It's, it's something that I feel in my heart I need to complete because he didn't finish his race. He had said something very clear, very noble, and it would not rest well with me if I knew that any other person went there to disorganize what he has started. So if the people were more, when they give me a chance to represent them, I want to assure them that all the good that my father did, I want to carry forward and even improve and enhance them. I am extremely happy upon the choice the NRM has made. It will make my work less and even quite easy. That boy is more inferior than those ones who are removed from the way. Now, if you remove my main challenger out of the way, what have you done for me? You have created easier means and channel for me. The structure and machinery of the party has not gone away. Once we get the flag bearer, then the machinery of the party will deliver. Ojok will now wait for the party's confirmation of his candidature ahead of the by-election as he kickstarts a race that may see him replace his father as MP. I, I want to just assure the people of Omoro that there are three things I will bring to the table. One is appreciation. Yes. And I want to thank, remember the people of Omoro and Uganda who stood with us. We also want to send apologies where we wronged you, that we continue to work in the spirit of forgiveness and reconciliation. Thirdly, let's work together. This is a time for us to show solidarity. Let's stand together and build on to what he has already put in place. If he succeeds in his effort, he will join a long line of political heirs in Uganda's politics. For instance, in 2005, opposition Democratic Party endorsed Joseph Baliku Dembe Motebi to replace his father, Patrick Musisi, who had died in his second term as MP for Busiro South. Baliku Dembe lost his seat in 2011. Proskovia Alengot Oromite was MP for Usuku County between 2012 and 2016 after replacing her father, Michael Oromite, who had died from a heart attack. Alengot was just 19 years and would become the youngest MP in Africa. In 2013, Florence Andiru, the current woman MP for Butaleja District, replaced her sister, Serena Nevanda, who died in 2012 of a reported drug overdose. Andiru returned to parliament in 2021 after five years out of the house. In 2015, Veronica Nanyondo, the woman MP for Bukoma and Sembe District, replaced her sister, Susan Namaganda, who died in a road accident that year. Veronica belonged to the Democratic Party before switching to NUP in the last election. In 2021, Kayanga Baroda Watongola, the current independent MP for Kamuli Municipality, replaced her mother, Rehema Watongola, who died from COVID-19 during campaigns ahead of the general election. In the same year, 2021, Fortunate Rose Nantongo, the current Chotera woman MP, replaced her mother, Robina Sentongo, who died in December 2020 from COVID-19. Nomination for candidates for Moro County by election will take place on the 12th and 13th of May, and then voters will go to the polls on the 26th. The ruling NRM enjoys strong support in Moro County, and this endorsement means a lot to Andrew Jok Olanya ahead of the main election. And we wait to see if he wins to join the list of beneficiaries of blood politics in Parliament. Edward Mhumza, NTV.